Recent nationwide protests and counter-protests have raised the visibility of the groups that have become known as the alt-right. These include nationalists, white separatists, and white supremacists. At a recent rally in Shelbyville, Tennessee, I got a good view of some of these groups. They include Vanguard America, League of the South, Traditionalist Workers' Party. There were members there from the KKK, including the Grand Dragon of Georgia, and the National Socialist Movement. Let's use this last one as our example and take a closer look. Grab your seats. It's time for Counterterrorism Roll Call. Welcome to Counterterrorism Roll Call. I'm your host, Holt Clark. The National Socialist Movement is a structured organization. Nationally, they have a hierarchy that follows a paramilitary organization. They have ranks, uniforms, insignia. They start out as a stormtrooper and may become a corporal. They have non-commissioned officers and officers. And they have a special unit that you have to be uh, kind of brought into. It's, it's supposed to be a big honor for them. And it is the security squad. And they use the SS lightning bolt insignia on their uniforms. If there's going to be trouble at a rally, you can generally predict it's going to come from, from these men. This is the website of the National Socialist Movement. And while they've buried the swastika, they haven't buried it very deep. For example, the web address is nsm88.org, and 8 is the 8th letter of the alphabet, so HH or Heil Hitler. They've also changed from being the master race to being the protectors of the victims or the white folks. You can see here they've got a video which shows Antifa and Black Lives Matter as being the attackers and the white people as being the victims and the National Socialist Movement as being the solution. Down the right side, you can also see they have lots of links to news stories where they also show that whites being victimized by uh, minorities and they show this to be the proof of, of their race. If you come down to the table over on the left of the contents, it talks more about them and it starts with their 25 point party thesis in multiple languages. You can see that the 25 points of the National Socialist is they demand a union of all whites into a greater America on the basis of the white nationalist self-determination. Now, you're going to see a lot of the things on here may even surprise you. The stuff about the white national movement, of course, is not surprising that everything that they want is for uh, all whites. They want all non-white immigration to be prevented. Uh, they want to have uh, other demands that would actually fit better on a Bernie Sanders website because they talk about economic reform suitable for national requirements. They want national socialist trade unions. Uh, they talk about instituting profit sharing with large industries. They talk about a livable wage. There's multiple places where they talk about a reasonable system of health care. They have a forum section uh, for more open discussion. And if you go to there, you'll start to see a lot more of the swastikas down the line as they start to discuss things in a little bit more open manner. As you scroll down, you'll see a lot more uh, news stories on here. Um, here's one about Harry Hughes appointed to acting public relations. And we're going to come back to him in just a moment. Uh, you'll see uh, links to their news magazine. And again, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you're going to see some more of their militaristic paramilitary type jargon. They'll talk about after action reports. Here's the uh, link to the photo gallery from their Shelbyville rally. And uh, some of you in the audience might uh, find yourself in some of these pictures because they do address the law enforcement issue. They also do a lot of merchandising. Under their NSM 88 records, they sell all kinds of different merchandising that you'll see down here on the left side. You'll see books uh, and pamphlets and flyers from Nazi Germany. You're going to find CD-ROMs, especially the, the hardcore heavy metal uh, music clothing, including Hitler t-shirts and white power t-shirts. Uh, there are Confederate and rebel section 
there are lots of flags and swastikas and patches that go along uh, with these. You're going to find jewelry, again, in uh, everything from Confederate flags to swastikas. In addition to their website, the National Socialist Movement also has an online magazine. Let's take a closer look. This appears to be about a quarterly publication, and it's heavily focused on their spinning of the news. It is not the recruiting and ideological magazine that you'll find from, say, the Global Jihadists. There's a lot more news stories, uh, maybe in information from their commander, uh, and more about uh, the protests that happened and, and how they see them. Uh, you'll also find information about uh, Charlottesville plays a big one uh, as well. Uh, here's where they're making fun of Antifa in here. They, they do a lot of their, of their memes that the, they want people to share around. They have a place to download on their website all these different memes so you can share it in your social media. And then as you progress further down past all the news stories, uh, you get back again into the merchandising and all the items that they have for sale, uh, linking you back to their uh, merchandising MS, excuse me, NSM 88 records. Members of the National Socialist Movement, especially in the higher ranks, operate more out in the open. They have uniforms with ranks, with name badges, and with patches showing their regional affiliation. This man has a National Socialist Movement patch on his left sleeve. On his right sleeve, a patch from Arizona. He has rank insignia on his hat, and he has the name Hughes over his right pocket. If you remember on the website, Mr. Harry Hughes was listed as the National Public Relations Director. So it wasn't surprising to find this Maricopa News interview with him using only one Google search. And of course, his Facebook page and his Twitter feed are also available. Many of the groups of the alt-right, including the Traditionalist Workers' Party, the League of the South and the National Socialist Movement have a presence on the dark web. And using a Tor router, you can take a look at their websites there as well. The thing that I found strange is uh, for all of these groups, their presence on the dark web is exactly the same as their presence on, on the regular web. So I'm not sure why in fact they do this unless it's just some kind of a cool factor or they think that by operating on the dark web, uh, that increases their mystique. These groups have changed their message. They're trying desperately to change their image. They don't want you to think that they're the same kind of people they've always been. The people who commit hate crimes and terrorist acts. They want you to see them as victims, only out there to protect themselves. But a quick look through their website shows you they're still filled with swastikas and Hitler quotes and, and fantasies of a white-only United States. They're still a very dangerous people. Until next time, be alert and be safe.